Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing what is inside of my planner bag. I am probably not the most um, venturous planner person but I do have some essentials that I carry along with me. I'm just going to show planner related items. If you want me to, you know, in another video, maybe I'll share like what I like carry around every single day. But this is like what's just in my planner bag. So without further ado, let's go through my planner bag. This is my planner bag. It's a Louis Vuitton, never fill, never full, excuse me, GM. Absolutely love this bag. This is like how it looks. It pretty much fits everything inside of it. Uh, let's get started with some of the items. These are my planners. This is my Louis Vuitton. What size is this? This is a small one that's like pretty much that I use as a wallet. I can't think of the size for some reason. I know they have PM, GM, GM uh, it's a PM, PM planner. <laughs> I was like, I know they have, but yeah. So this is a planner. I pretty much use it as a wallet. I don't necessarily use it as a planner more so a planner if i have like a grocery list or to-do list that type of thing but i don't necessarily use this as my everyday planner this is my business planner that i use it's actually the teacher planner i use it for my business and it just works for me. I use the layouts for deadlines. I use the note sections for like, I just did a kind of like a panel discussion. And I just, I wasn't the panelist, but I did like a ton of notes. I use it pretty much for everything that's business related to do's travel that's anything that's business related in my business that's what i use this i love the layout it has so much room to produce content because i am a lifestyle blogger so it just has a, a ton of space to produce content i'll go to like some of the older pages that are not filled in and i know i'm kind of going off on a tangent because this is not what this is about but like especially for like bloggers or you can put like goals in this section like what are like the brands that you would like to work with and then in this section i'm gonna go to one that's not filled out or even as a parent you can put like goals for each month this would be a good like command center as well but again i know this is not what this is about but i'm trying to be really fast but as a blogger I kind of love that you, with each area, like you can do social media, content, reaching out to brands, or if a brand reached out to you, your to-dos, you can like, this has so much room in it. If you are looking for something that's even like a bill, this would be perfect for bills as well. If you are looking for that like catch all, and this has so much space that you really could use it for a business and as well as everyday life planner. Now this is my Erin Condren planner. This is a planner that I use every day from tracking my menstrual cycle to tracking just daily habits. I'll show you, I also worked on my to-dos for, this is April, so I worked on like paint the front porch. These were like some of my to-dos. And then I also worked on my garden. I love that, you know, you pretty much can make the space whatever you want. For my layouts, I'm, I know people do like the stickers. I'm not that great with the stickers. What I'll do is I'll put a area where like if it's a birthday, I'll put that. If I baked a whole bunch, if I went to the grocery store, like that type of information I'll put inside of my, and then I've been using, and I'm gonna kind of show you with one that's blank. But instead of having a bill system, I've been using the side portion. I'll put my bills, all of the bills that are due in this area, and then have like, create a little box and then have like a check off area. I can check off to, Say when the bill is actually paid for you can also use this area but for me because I use it for like so much just little stuff as far as like you know everyday routines and then what I also do is in the actual every sticker actually represents something with that with the stickers just to give you an idea 
on the actual date, I'll put what the sticker actually represents. It's just a little bit more cleaner for me in regards to the layout of my planner. And then I'll also use the side area for like things that I'm grateful and thankful for. Last year, I was actually using it to share like what I was eating in a day. So just to give you an example, right in this area, I'll use it to show what the sticker represents. And in this area, I'll put what I'm thankful for. So just the various stuff that I'm thankful for. I try to use it every single day. Some days are better than others. But this is, this is like everything now. So I use it for my finances as well as my everyday life, family. This is like my catch all besides the business side. The goodies that are in my planner, these are just some stickers. I do use stickers, but I'm not like a very intensive sticker person, which, you know, I, I, I don't, it's not like I, I have an issue with it, but I do like keep my stickers. Like I have a pouch with just some random stickers as I receive them. And then I also, this is just an Erin Condren sticker book. It's actually, so I love the sticker book. And I, I didn't even, I like, couldn't remember where I put it at. So it has so many, I think I did a video on just like the various stickers that were in this book. I, I love this sticker book. I love, they're, they're so amazing. But it says on the front, plan for tomorrow, celebrate today, which I love that they have so many different quotes with their planner and then this just houses a lot of my pens and stuff washi not washi tape but just like um pencils all of my like station not stationary but like pencils and pens markers go in this bag and that is it guys thank you so much for watching this video 